How to find unique items in Minecraft dungeons? Well, we're going to talk about that today. My name is Wintertooth100. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Finding unique items in Minecraft dungeons can be a little tricky, but all we're going to need is some high level gear because we want to find high level unique items and a whole bunch of emeralds. You should be seeing on your screen right now a clip. I do have an AFK emerald farm in the eye in the top right hand corner it will take you to that video in case you want to find out how to get passive emeralds while you are sleeping and now let's jump into exactly how we're going to get the highest level unique items we can in minecraft dungeons the first thing we're going to want to do is to make sure that our campsite is set to the highest power level that we can accomplish and by doing this all we have to do is put in every single slot the highest level item we currently have. So whatever your highest level items are, go ahead and equip all those to bring up your power level as high as you can. Usually if you can reach 100, you are set for the highest level gear. With that in place, all you have to do is select Apocalypse Mode because we want the highest level gear. Go to any mission, push start, let it load up, and then we're going to go to our escape menu and push return to camp. What this does is it sets the item level for all of our gear and the game calculates that based on what your power level is when you go through a loading screen like what you're seeing right now. Since we have gone through this loading screen with a power level of 106, the wandering trader and the blacksmith will both sell us things in the power range of 106 which as we can tell from our map if we select on this guy select here you see gear and artifacts will drop between 100 and 107 that exact same range applies here in camp so the easiest way to get uniques is one of two ways either you can select say pumpkin pastures we can go for the sword there are unique versions of the sword and so as a result this level has a chance to drop unique versions of swords or sickles or soul scythes basically a level will only drop a unique version of itself potentially if that level already drops the non unique version of that item with that information in our minds we can actually get any piece of gear from the blacksmith so if we just trade with the blacksmith we have access to all unique items at all times. And since we have set the level here, we're guaranteed to get items ranging from levels 100 to the highest I've personally seen is 108. So all you gotta do is buy stuff from him until you start getting stuff. And once you're out of money, you can go through and start selecting things to sell back for additional monies. We can get 94 back and well, hold on to your highest item levels because we can also reset our power level and go again. I'm going to quickly clear this out. We're going to see how many unique items we got. So as you can see, using this method, we have acquired four brand new uniques in the span of a couple of minutes and of course letting ourselves afk for the emeralds overnight while we're sleeping so this is four uniques i would not have gotten had i not done this little trick additionally we have two new pieces of armor we can go through and decide if any of them are better but they are both higher level than our current one and then we have a higher level bow so in theory if we're lucky not quite but you can use these higher level items to make your power level just a little bit higher which will allow the traders to potentially sell you higher level gear we're not quite done yet though we broke down salvaged the rest of it and we came back with 2500 emeralds so we can in theory potentially get another two or three unique items if we're, if we're lucky didn't quite get any more uniques but we did get a slightly higher level weapon so we can replace our old one and look at that we have Almost, we have one maxed out slot and two that are very close and you can see if we keep going back and forth between buying and salvaging we can actually turn 9,000 gold 
into closer to 12,000 gold, and you can get a lot of rolls out of it this way. And just like that, I'm pretty much broke. This trick, if you're wondering, does also work for the Wandering Trader. Unfortunately, I'm too broke to buy anything. But he will also sell you artifacts that range between the range of 100 and 108, as we can see here. Which is, again, how I got most of my artifacts in the 100 range. I hope this helped you guys out to get unique items passively throughout the game. You can go out and fight for them. You can determine what sorts of unique items you can get by going to the proper stage and looking in here for the common version of the uniques you're looking for. I personally really like the harp crossbow and that is a unique version of the scatter crossbow so we have better odds of getting it by running the high block halls for example. So between picking the map you want to run and passively gaining emeralds with the AFK emerald farm and trading them with the blacksmith having reset what they can sell you with item level manipulation, you guys can pretty much get whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Wintertooth100. Be sure to leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.